The first bank bailout has occurred, but is it just contagion containment? Hey everybody, Scott Walters, buckle up, strap in, I got a hard hitting pull the punches, no sugar coating it, no rainbows, no sunshine. Just going to give it to you, give it to you straight. We got a good one to unpackage today, my friends. You can't dream this stuff up. Just when you think it couldn't get any more weird, well, buckle up and strap in. That's exactly what I am seeing out there. If you're new, please subscribe. Subscribe right away. Never been a more important time in U.S., if not global history, to get centered and surrounded with like-minded people. Iron. We'll sharpen iron. We're going to sharpen some iron today, my friends, as we raise awareness. Ring the bell. Sound the alarm. Read between the lies. Look between the cracks and, and examine the health and the fitness of the U.S. economy and, and the U.S. housing market. They're tied together. Lose one, you will lose the other. So recently, we all know that this Silicon Valley bank had failed and bank runs had started. We got our first bank run, friends. This is not a good sign of a healthy economy. Let me just be the first to communicate that. Anytime a big bank experiences a bank run, we should probably get a little worried. You know, I and I want to thank everybody who supported my recent video around this whole bank run scenario and the contagion uh, component that's now uh, going vertically or horizontally or whatever right along with it. This is the deal now. I just saw reports, and I know most of you have as well, that's why we're going to go ahead and cover this right now, is Janet Yellen apparently has announced that they're going to uh, bail out this bank. A bank, a bailout. So that is not a good sign. And here's the challenge. This is not, this is not, <laughs> this is not so much about a bank bailout for the, for the government, bailing out this bank, as it is to contain contagion. They know absolutely right now, they see what's going on. This is grabbing headlines. They see people are probably, I bet you if they were to monitor ATM withdrawals right now, they're at an all-time high. Throw the dart at the economic issue map and we're probably hitting another one right now with cash withdrawals spiking all across America, if not the a globe. And I've got a lot of sharp people here at the channel. If you're new, jump into the comments. We got some smarties in there uh, for sure. Our resident uh, subscriber and friend of the channel, the real estate attorney, has sent me some pretty shocking stuff that I should probably cover. But, you know, some people have a pretty, pretty big take on what's actually going on. This is much bigger than uh, banks failing. This is a, so a lot of people think this is all orchestrated, and there's some pretty legitimate facts or scenarios to support, you know, exactly that. There's something possibly sinister, much bigger going on. Uh, we will cover that if and when needed. We're going to go ahead and just tackle these issues and meet them head on. And the head on issue that I believe we're seeing right now is contagion containment efforts. You don't bail out a bank because you think it's going to be fun stacking more taxpayer dollars into this inflationary fire because we're the bank the government's not bailing out the banks. You are. I am. We have to bail out this bank is what it ultimately comes down to. Insane, right? So this is about what the what apparently they're seeing now as bank runs and probably cash with withdrawals getting a little sketchy out there. They want to neutralize this and try to create confidence in the system by letting you know, oh, don't worry, we're going to bail out this bank. It's isolated. We're going to isolate. This is purely contagion, containment, and it's pure form. And I'll tell you one of the reasons why. How much do you trust the people that are bail bailing out these banks? These are the same people, friends, that told you, don't worry about inflation. It's transitory. Oh, don't worry about the economy. It's resilient. We're going to glide in for a nice, fun, soft landing. That's what they were trying to tell you, folks. I don't see any soft landing out here. I continue to have my friends, other YouTubers that I've a lot have alliance with, and you know all know who they are: the market mania, the real estate mindset, the I allegedly, the ninja, you know, Orlando. We've got a bunch. We've got a bunch. Or came, people that came early to this game saying, "Hey, financial gain over here." Still warning people. Still warning people. And nobody. I think for me personally. As a boots on the ground agent in Southern California in the most euphoric part of the country, an episode, a million dollar listing, a showdown at the OK Corral, a dogfight working in real estate, seeing that FOMO in its 
purest, most pure form ever. I'm just like, I don't care how much money I'm making. I can't sit back here and just pretend like this time is different. It's normal. And don't even get me started on this whole rate buy down funny business. I, whew, We got to blow the lid. We're going to do a deep dive possibly on that one next. But there is some serious stuff going on uh, right about now. And it's just a little odd to me when I start seeing bank bailouts occur that is not the sign we want that is not the sign we want the realities are recession ushered in it's not an unfortunate byproduct of inflation that we're getting into recessionary pain and the only reason it hasn't been announced now because of these supposed supposed robust job numbers we're seeing the layoffs occur the hirings are all blue collar weight blue Collar wage earnings, service sector jobs that were shut down in the crisis. All the hiring that took place in the crisis is now firing. Does it, it doesn't take a rocket scientist. Congratulations to everybody who's awake uh, right about now. In final thoughts, I come to you as a friend, as a content creator. Somebody wants to see you not only win in real estate, win in life. Understanding when you see this is what is contagion, containment attempt just if you believe inflation was transitory then you can believe that this bailout has anything to do other than contagion containment i am willing to bet if i was a betting man which i'm really not cash withdrawals are spiking they see what's going on immediately this is just a day or two after the announcement of the failed bank and the bank runs they're now announcing bank uh, bailouts you might be able to bail out one bank but you're not going to be able to bail them all out if this system fails good luck trying to contain contagement on this one hope for the best prepare for the worst it's better to be prepared to have it not happen than have something happen and not be prepared if and when something like this happens or anything happens it's better to be able to halfway expect it so we're able to operate within it more efficiently a lot of money is going to get made outside the bubble rich people didn't get rich by at the height of a super bubble we have, in fact they're needing bailouts now quite the opposite Rich people will get rich buying outside the bubble. I'm going to be here to ring the bell, sound the alarm, raise awareness every step of the way. Because it's not only what we need, it's in fact what we deserve. You appreciate the content. I want to humbly ask you to give the video a like. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Social media links are in the description of this video. If you'd like to contact me there, along with the links to channels I've appeared on, I think you might enjoy. If you need help buying or selling real estate here in America, biggest network of top rated agents in the nation ready to assist you, it would be our honor and our privilege to do so, email in the description for you as well. Also, if you're watching from your television set today and you enjoyed this video, I know you're going to love the next video on your screen. And there's an easy subscribe icon for your convenience. As always, thank you for your time. Please go make it count today. And I'll see you on the next video.